All right, so next up here, I want to take a look at using Anthropic's Claude model, Claude Sonnet 3.5. I'm going to use that with Zed for the assistant panel and inline assistant requests. And so to do that right now, I've got the default configuration. And you can see on the right here, the chat panel, which you can open up with this little icon down below here or command question. You can see it's asking me for an OpenAI API key. So this is not quite right. If I want to use Anthropic instead, I need to open the preferences with command comma and then come down below here and I need to add an assistant block. And inside of this block here, I need to paste in some configuration here. Essentially, I'm specifying a provider here named Anthropic and then I'm specifying the model I want to use. Now, once I've done this and saved this, over on the right, watch how that switches to Anthropic API key. One thing I'll suggest, if you have any trouble getting this to work in terms of the chat panel, you might want to run a reload here to restart Zed to make sure it picks up the changes. I've had to do that when I was using Olama locally. In this case, it doesn't look like I have to do it with Anthropic, but I just wanted to point that out in case you have issues. And then over on the right here, I just need to paste in an API key. All right, once I've set that then, I've got a chat context over here. I could just test this out. Ask it, what is your name? Command return. I find that Claude is pretty good about knowing Claude's name. All right, you can see I get a response back. My name is Claude. That looks promising. So now let's try to do something outside of the chat panel. Let's try to come over to the code here. And one thing I want to test out here is to just select some code that I want to make a change to. And let's just do control and enter here. I can now provide a prompt. Let's just say I want to change my name in the code here and I don't want to actually have to go through and do it. Just hit return. All right, it spits back a response and it updates and shows a diff in this case. So I can see if I want to accept this or refine it. If I want to refine it, I can just type more here and then I can resubmit it. Or I was hoping to be able to accept that one, but looks like the checkbox went away. So I'll just resubmit that and try again. And now I'll go ahead and accept that. And there you go, it's made a change here. It's changed my name in two spots. And I really appreciate that it didn't mess anything up and add any unnecessary code. It did a good job of just rewriting the part that I had selected, even though behind the scenes, Claude was actually fed the entire file and it was marked where I wanted it to rewrite. It actually paid attention to that and returned a response that Zed understood, which then produced a nice diff that I was able to accept. And I really like this workflow. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to take a look at using Zed again. And it's just because it has this nice ability to select code and ask for some sort of transformation on it to refactor it, rewrite it, make changes. And then you can send it off and it tends to be pretty darn accurate. So this inline workflow is in contrast to maybe selecting code, which you can do here as well. Send it over to the assistant panel and then come over here, ask it to make some changes. Looks like I pasted it in the wrong spot. That's okay. You can modify that. Let's just fix this here. In fact, let's just delete everything. Let's send that back over again. With the command and greater than sign, I can send that over. See if it can put it back. Command return. Aha, it looks like I made a mistake. Let's try this again here. All right, so rename in the code to Wes Higby. Let's see if it gets it this time. All right, there you go. I get back a response. And then I could select this response. And if I do command and less than, that'll send it back over to the code. It'll replace whatever I'd selected. So that's definitely a workflow that works as well if you want to pull some code out and modify it and then send it back. But in my opinion, if it's a simple change that I want rewritten, I'd rather just do that all in line and never even bother with the chat panel.